Hi, I'm Rob Sauerhack with Golf Magazine, here today to talk to you about the Ping G-Max Irons. Now, this is a higher handicapper, or really it's built for higher handicappers. It's meant to replace the company's Karsten iron. Uh, it's an ultra-stable club, it, it produces high ball flights, very similar to, to the Karsten. Now, one thing that is different is this core eye structure in the back cavity, and very simply, this allows the face to bend more uniformly depending on where you impact the shot. By doing so, it maximizes ball speeds across more of the face. Speaking of which, the perimeter itself, the perimeter of the face is a full 30% thinner than in the Karsten irons. And again, what this is doing is it's creating more ball speed, uh, twice the deflection actually that you were getting with the, with the Karsten. In Ping's testing, they've shown that the new G-Max is six to 10 yards longer than the previous Karsten iron. And the Karsten iron was a pretty long hitting iron in its own right. One more subtle design feature in the four, five, and six irons, and I'm holding the four iron here, they actually have a lighter swing weight, which according to the R&D folks at Ping, they feel that this actually allows the club to square up more easily. Obviously this will cut down on your, on your foul balls with your long and your mid irons. Uh, lastly, What's being done to the sole? Well, the sole has actually been changed quite a bit relative to the, to the Karsten. There's a more rounded leading edge and there's one to two degrees more bounce along the sole. And this is really to limit digging. So the club should pass smoothly and easily through the turf. So if you love the forgiveness that you've come to expect from the Ping Iron and want a little bit more distance, then the Ping G-Max is certainly worth your while.